Good morning, traders. Des here with Grok Trade. It's Thursday, July 7, 2011. And I stand corrected from yesterday. Uh, I had reported May's numbers for the ADP employment change, and they had pushed it back a day. And they have reported today, and it looks like the employment change is up to 157,000 versus the 38,000 in June. This has caused the markets to go up quite a bit here. You can see that the S&P is up 0.7 plus percent, 75 percent. Dow up a half a percent and about 7 percent up or 0.7 percent on the NASDAQ. So all is looking well here, and on a 60-minute chart, you have this base. We turn into a double top. It started to falter, started to drop, started to drop, and then it got some wind under its cells. And let me show you this. Then we made a triple top, but it needed to drop back below this 133 to confirm it. However, that didn't happen. After market and pre-market activity continue to go bullish here. So far I went to this high of 135.21 and, and it has since retraced. But I drew a little green line here. You can see that our swing highs here, higher swing high, the slope or the velocity if you will of this has changed from this slope to this one so it has decreased and before if you uh, look at the moving averages we're bouncing nicely off the tops of them and here we're caught up inside the moving averages here but starting to run yet again it's almost like a sprinter out of the gates running 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 Take a little breather, 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 and it looks like it's wanting to start running again. So that's where we're at. If I go to a five minute chart, we have the job numbers, the initial jobless claims from last week reporting right now. And let's see what that comes in at. All right. First news out of the gates here says initial in unemployment claims are at 418,000 versus the 421,000 which was expected. So that's just out and that's where we're at. So it did just a slight bit better but we're still way over that 400,000 mark. All right, well, let's look at some resistance areas for today. And um, and I'll tell you, gang, as I'm going to show you the daily chart after I show you these resistance areas. And, and these numbers really haven't changed from yesterday. And here's your support numbers. Support numbers. But watch this. I'm going to go to the S&P. Um, if we get up here into this area, this would put us around 1353 to 1354 um, area that's going to be a really tough area to, um, to break through that should serve as some nice resistance but it looks like this morning we're going to pop over these two areas of resistance we're going to end up right here somewhere so just know that we're going to be at the top side of this triangle um, it looks like that could be happening yet today so safe trading to you out there in the markets